All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I'm Abhishek Mukhopadhyay. The headlines: All arrangements in place for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections tomorrow. Election Commission cancels polling in Bellore constituencies of Tamil Nadu on grounds of misuse of money. A committee of creditors decides to liquidate Mehul Choksi's Gitanjali jams to recover over 12,000 crore rupees. Mahavir Jayanti has been celebrated with traditional fervor today. Indonesia goes to polls to elect president in one of the world's biggest one-day elections. And in IPL cricket, Kings XI Punjab beat Rajasthan Royals by 12 runs at Mohali. All arrangements are in place for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections tomorrow. 95 constituencies spread over 11 states and one union territory will go to polls in this phase. These include 38 constituencies of Tamil Nadu, 14 in Karnataka, 10 in Maharashtra, 8 in Uttar Pradesh, 5 each in Assam, Bihar and Odisha, 3 each in Chhattisgarh and West Bengal, 2 in Jammu and Kashmir and 1 each in Manipur, Tripura and Puducherry. Campaigning for this phase ended last evening. Political parties will resort to door-to-door -door campaign today. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has deferred the polling schedule of the Tripura East Lok Sabha seat to the third phase on April 23rd from the second phase due to security reasons. Election to the Vellore Parliamentary Constituency in Tamil Nadu, scheduled to go to polls in the second phase, has been rescinded. Vellore has become the constituency in India where a Lok Sabha election has been cancelled due to misuse of money during electioneering. The commission had recommended to the president seeking cancellation of the election on the seat which has been accepted. As all the seats in Tamil Nadu are identified as expenditure sensitive, special measures have been taken by the election commission to check money power. The number of sensitive booths in the state has escalated to 8,293, where polling would be web streamed or videographed. The state also faces by elections for 18 assembly seats along with the Lok Sabha polls. More from a correspondent. Vellore is considered the first parliamentary constituency where election has been cancelled on grounds of misuse of money. For the polling in 38 other seats, five tier security arrangements have been made with the deployment of nearly 1.39 lakh police, central paramilitary forces, and ex-servicemen. In polling booths, officials have made elaborate arrangements for a smooth polling, including web streaming or videography of the polling process. The state transport department operates 1500 special buses to facilitate voters to go to their native places and exercise their franchise. Jay Singh AR News Chennai. In Karnataka over 2 crore 67 lakh voters will decide the fate of 241 candidates in this phase. The director general and inspector general of police Nilmani N Raju has informed that Hasan, Mandya, Tumkur and Bangalore rural are vulnerable constituencies where the additional police force is deployed in maharashtra total of 179 candidates in the fray for the 10 seats preparations are on in full swing with both men and machinery expected to reach the respective booths by this evening some key personalities whose fate will be decided in this phase include bjp sitting mp prita munde from bid state congress president ashok chavan from nanded former chief minister sushil kumar shinde from solapur and mahagathbandhan candidate navneet rana from amravati in uttar pradesh polling will take place for agra fatehpur sikri amroha bulandshahar nagina hatras aligarh and mathura lok sabha constituencies in bihar polling will take place for five lok sabha seats including katihar tomorrow a correspondent has filed this report on katihar constituency Katihar Lok Sabha constituency which is popularly known as Maize Producer Corridor of Simanchal region in Bihar is witnessing direct fight between nominees of NDA and Grand Alliance Nitish Kumar led Janata Dal United has fielded former state cabinet minister Dulal Chandra Goswami against five times winner from this Lok Sabha seat Tariq Anwar Mr Anwar is this time contesting on Congress ticket one of the high turnout polling constituency in Bihar Katihar had witnessed approximately at least 68% polling in last lok sabha elections dharvendra kumar rai air news katihar in chatisgarh three constituencies kanker mahasamund and rajnandgaon are going to polls tomorrow our correspondent reports these constituencies are partially maoist affected 
More than 70,000 security personnel have been deployed in the sensitive areas of these constituencies. Polling teams, escorted by heavy contingent of security forces, have been sent to polling booths located in sensitive and hypersensitive areas. For the polling stations, situated in remote most affected areas of Garyaband and Manpur Mohla, the polling parties are being sent by helicopters. Security forces have intensified patrolling on interstate border with Maharashtra and Odisha. Vikalp Shukla, AIR News, Raipur. In Assam, Chief Electoral Officer Mukesh Sahu has said that polling parties at some remote areas have already left for the polling stations. The CEO said adequate security measures have been taken to ensure peaceful polling. Special arrangements will be made for senior citizens and PWD voters. In Puducherry, 18 candidates in the fray for the lone looks of a seat. Election Commission has made elaborate security arrangements. 1,850 police personnel and 10 companies of central forces have been deployed. A report. The Chief Election Officer, Dr. Kandavelu, speaking to newsman, said that the polling personnel will take up their positions by tomorrow evening. He said that 96.8% of voters have been issued polling booth slips. The polling will begin on Thursday at 7 a.m. and end at 6 p.m. 9,73,161 voters will exercise their franchise during the poll. Chandra Mohan, RNU, Puducherry. Meanwhile, electioneering has gained momentum for the third phase of polling slated to be held for 116 constituencies spread across 13 states and two union territories on the 23rd of this month. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will campaign in Gujarat for two days. He will address public meetings at Himmat Nagar, Surinder Nagar and Anand today. He will address another public meeting at Amreli and in Shaurashtra region tomorrow. Congress President Rahul Gandhi is also scheduled to address three public meetings in Gujarat from tomorrow. Mr. Gandhi will address public meetings at Bhuj in Kutch and Banthali in Junagar tomorrow and in Bardoli on Friday. In Bihar, 32 candidates filed nominations for the fifth phase of elections so far. 69 candidates have filed nominations so far. Shakil Ahmed has filed nomination from Madhubani Parliamentary Constituency and Chandrika Rai of the RJD filed nomination from Saran. Tomorrow is the last day for filing of nomination for this phase. Five Lok Sabha constituencies in the state will go to polls on the 6th of May. In Bihar, an FIR has been lodged against Congress leader Navjot Singh Sidhu due to derogatory remarks during election campaign in Katihar Parliamentary Constituency. CEO Sanjay Kumar Singh said a report along with CD of the speech of Sidhu has been sent to the Election Commission for necessary action. Election Commission has issued notice to Samajwadi Party leader Azam Khan for his alleged objectionable remarks during his campaigning in various parts of Rampur parliamentary constituency in Uttar Pradesh in the past few days. In the notice which was issued yesterday, the poll panel has asked the SP leader to submit his reply within 24 hours. Earlier, the Commission had banned the Samajwadi Party leader from election campaigning for 72 hours for his objectionable remarks against BJP candidate Jaya Pradha. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program, Janadesh 2019, on the developments related to the general elections 2019. Tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4 or 5 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program. A committee of creditors has decided to liquidate Mehul Choksi's Gitanjali jams to recover over 12,000 crore rupees. Choksi and his nephew Nirav Modi are absconding since February last year after the 14,000 crore rupee PNB scam came into light. The lenders rejected a resolution proposal and voted for liquidation, citing time overrun beyond the 180 days. The major lenders include PNB, ICICI Bank, Corporation Bank and Allahabad Bank. Overall, as many as 31 financial creditors have claimed dues worth over 12,558 crore rupees from Gitanjali Jams. Market regulator SEBI is also looking into the matter as the Corporate Affairs Ministry has sought the help of Central Board of Direct Taxes to ascertain the assets of the prime accused and other related parties. The Reserve Bank of India has put into circulation 50 rupees denomination banknotes signed by its governor Shakti Kanta Das. The RBI said in Mumbai yesterday that the design of these notes is similar in all respects to 50 rupee banknotes in Mahatma Gandhi new series. 
It said that all bank notes in the denomination of 50 issued by the Reserve Bank in the past will continue to be legal tender. Mahavir Jayanti, the birth anniversary of the 24th in the last Jain Tithankar, Lord Mahavir, has been celebrated across the country today. It is one of the most sacred days for Jain people. The followers of Lord Mahavir celebrate this festival by chanting prayers, offering prasad and participating in chariot processions. President Ramnath Kovind and Vice President M. Venkai Naidu have greeted the people on this occasion. In Gujarat, a large procession was taken out in Ahmedabad and other cities in the state on this occasion. A report. One of the most important religious festivals of the Jain community, Mahavir Jainti, is being celebrated to mark the birth and philosophy of Lord Mahavir. A large procession will be taken out in Ahmedabad and other cities of the state on this occasion. Devotees, including women and children, will participate in the procession and recite the five vows of Jainism like non-violence, truth, non-stealing, chastity and non-possession. Yogesh Pandya, Air News, Ahmedabad. In Indonesia, voting is underway for one of the world's biggest one-day elections today. President Joko Widodo, pitted against ex-general Prabowo Subianto, is in a race to lead the nation. More than 190 million Indonesians are set to cast a ballot. A record 245,000 candidates are running for public office in the world's third biggest democracy, from the presidency and parliamentary seats to local positions. Opinion polls show Mr. Widodo as a clear favourite, but he faces a tough challenge from Mr. Subianto. Northwest India witnessed rainfall in the past 24 hours due to impact of an active western disturbance. Senior official in the IMD, Dr. M. Mahapatra, said, due to influence of western disturbance, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh and Rajasthan have experienced rainfall activity. In IPL Cricket Kings 11 Punjab defeated Rajasthan Royals by 12 runs in Mohali last night. Chasing a victory target of 183 runs, Rajasthan managed 170 runs for 7 in 20 overs. Tonight, Sunrisers Hyderabad will face Chennai Super Kings in Hyderabad at 8 pm. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, it's over to Sarabjit Kaur. Thank you, Abhishek. Newspapers this morning lead with different stories. Lok Sabha polls in Velour cancelled due to use of money power leads the Asian age. First time LS polls annulled over alleged use of cash for bribing voters. Tamil Nadu campaign ends on a bitter note. Taxmen raid Kannimori home, find nothing, informs the Indian Express. AAP Congress set to open fresh talks for Delhi Alliance, notes Hindustan Times. After Supreme Court rap, Election Commission wakes up to its powers is the lead in the Hindu. The paper writes that the poll body acted against communal speeches after top court pulled it up and gave it 24 hours to act. Violations pile up a day after election commission gag on leaders, notes Hindustan Times. The Times of India quoting Prime Minister Modi in an exclusive interview says, I still consider myself a challenger. Those accusing us of hyper-nationalism mock Deshbhakti. On the future of the cash-strapped Jet Airways India Limited, the Hindustan Times writes, Jet may ground all flights. Government moves to check fares. Supreme Court to hear plea on entry of women in mosques, notes the Times of India. Shatru's wife joins SP, may take on Rajnath, informs the Asian Age. And finally, our face evolved to help us convey emotions. Well, the Times of India reports that humans developed smooth foreheads and hairy eyebrows to allow non-verbal communication. And with that, it's back to you, Abhishek. Thank you, Sarabjit. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. All arrangements in place for the second phase of Lok Sabha elections tomorrow. Election Commission cancels polling in Vellore constituency of Tamil Nadu on the grounds of misuse of money. A committee of creditors decides to liquidate Mehul Choksi's Gitanjali jams to recover over 12,000 crore rupees. Mahavir Jayanti been celebrated with traditional fervor today. Indonesia goes to polls to elect president in one of the world's biggest one-day elections. And in IPL cricket, Kings XI Punjab beat Rajasthan Royals by 12 runs at Mohali. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.nic.in And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.